So you've been working hard to get your class assignment finished, and it looks really great, but you could use a few images to really bring it together. You could take your own pictures, but you haven't really got time for that. And then you think, I bet I could find all the images I need online. But you should probably know a little bit about copyright and open licensing before you start to copy and paste. The easiest way to use images from the web responsibly is to look for openly licensed work. There are lots of open licenses with varying degrees of usage rights. So how will you know what license the work is using? One way to search for open pictures on the web is through Google Images. Although a regular Google search will reveal both copyrighted and open works, you can then filter your search and only include openly licensed works by choosing a usage rights option from this drop-down menu. The new filtered search results will include only images that have been marked with an open license by the copyright owner. Following the link to the image source should provide more details about how the author wants to be credited. Understanding common open licensing is a digital literacy skill that everyone should have if they intend to use material from the web. Creative common licenses are the ones you'll most likely come across. Get to know a little bit more about these licenses as a user and an author at wiki.creativecommons.org. So this is great. You've got a stack of images with attributions and the licensing info you need to use them in your assignment. But what if I couldn't find the right image using the open license system? What if the only image that will work is protected by copyright and not available for free use? Luckily for Canadian students, there are exceptions in the copyright law for educational use of copyrighted materials. That said, there are still some responsibilities you'll need to adhere to if you want to use these in your work. First and foremost, as with any academic work, you'll need to provide the proper citation to the work you're borrowing. Author, title, publisher, date and source would be a good start. You can usually follow the citation standards within your field of study for this information. The second condition of the educational fair dealing exception is that work containing copyrighted material may not be displayed publicly. This means that you cannot publish your work to a publicly available source without first obtaining further copyright permissions from the author. Search for the Fair Dealing Guidelines within the Canadian Copyright Act for more details on these conditions. So whether you find the right open content online or you make use of the Fair Dealing exceptions in the Canadian Copyright Act, you now know that you've got options for enhancing your student work. You also know that you have certain responsibilities to the copyright owners regardless of the licenses applied and that holding up your end of these licenses will help ensure that sharing of information and ideas is done respectfully and honestly. Created using Powtoon.